Today's supply chains are under historic levels of pressure from all angles. Global component shortages, extended shipping times, and volatile market prices are all driving the need for an evolution in modern manufacturing. Supply Chain Transformed is a new series from DigiKey Electronics, powered by analog devices, Molex, and SupplyFrame, aimed at examining global supply chains from end to end and how technology is transforming the way products are designed, built, and shipped. In this episode, we follow the product's journey across the supply chain, looking at how next-generation tracking, transportation, and logistics provide real-time visibility, ensuring timely delivery to support production on a global scale. You know, when I first started, people were walking boxes across the building um, on little carts. They were pushing it from one belt to the next. And in just a matter of a few years, and now everything's pretty much on the transitory system, our material transport system. And now we're going, you know, one truck per day from a, a different site to two trucks an hour for essentially 17, 18 hours every single day, seven days a week, so. When I think about RFIDs in our system currently right now, obviously there's a lot of different uses for them, but for me particularly, when we have receipt of goods coming in or replenishment coming and going from facilities and processing, you know, in upwards of 26 to 28,000 uh, packages per day, and obviously that marker crosses 30,000 with you know, plus or minus 100,000 details within those packages. It takes out a lot of manual labor of searching for product at times. You know, whether a product is lost or it's just in transit, maybe it's sitting on a pallet, how many labor hours that takes sometimes to find that product could be drastically reduced. Basically from the dock doors, there's a team there taking on the product, sorting it, getting it where it needs to go as efficiently as possible, but then obviously it needs to ride the belt and it needs to get to where it's going. You know, we're all customers at some form in our lives, whether we're ordering food or we're retail shopping, and you want to know. You know, customers are, are very similar for other aspects of what they're ordering. Comb Slattery of Analog Devices highlights the importance of transportation within the supply chain and what lies on the horizon. Two key things that the logistics companies are doing is, is you know, try to increase productivity, right? Make more money and try to drive sustainability which is linked really to productivity enhancements as well, which they're doing today, the kind of inventory management software. So how they route their fleet around, um, you know, so the likes of you know, FedEx and UPS and DHL have about 2000 trucks on the road. So efficient routing of all of those trucks to GPS navigation in real time, you know, can really, you know, improve efficiency savings for them. And then the third one is, is how they actually manage assets within the transportation containers right so if they know you know whether a container is like five percent full or ten percent full fifty percent full hundred percent full you know in real time then that is very valuable information for them they can reroute and reschedule that specific truck what we will see an increasing is an adoption of more sensing technology into these logistics equipments and um, it's probably going to be a trend in the future and we definitely are going to play in that um, at 100% we're, we're already looking at, at these at new markets that are opening up for us. Working with a lot of logistics companies I realized you know the biggest fragmentation happens in the last month. Vinod Subramanan Chief Executive Officer at Graphly is a company focused on enabling scalable and automated deliveries through the application of real-time data and visibility. Graphly is basically a modern transportation management solution focused on increasing carrier capacity in the last mile. So we basically work with uh, freight trucking companies and last mile couriers to help them increase capacity in the truck so that they can deliver while automating the business processes so that you can save, save money. I, I call it sort of the final frontier for all the modern supply chains is to try and figure out how to increase capacity in the last month. Predominantly, it's very fragmented and that's one of the reasons why there's a huge uh, cost implication in the last mile. If you look at the overall shipping cost, the last mile alone takes about 40 to 50 percent of it, which is a lion's share of it, right? So our vision as a company is to take a lot of these traditional trucking companies to move from their sweet spot, which is the regional, 
into the last mile. Because of this changing consumer behavior where products have to be constantly moving, now they're forced to sort of enter urban areas to, to do multiple deliveries. Our vision is to give them an automation-based workflow through digital transformation through software. I mean, the immediate future, right, in the next few years is to, how do we improve the capacity utilization of the, of the existing ecosystem? Shane O'Mahony of Analog Devices speaks on the electrification of vehicles and batteries as a critical asset to monitor throughout global supply chains. Now that that kind of electric vehicle has been established as a really credible form of transport, cost OEMs are looking at treating the battery more like an asset and less like a item you put in the car once and you know you you, you run you you just do a in car use case and that's all we care about. Today, you know, once the battery goes into the car, um, there is good data. You know, there is a cellular connections to many cars, you know, there's there's good data from the car. When before the battery was in the car, there really is no data today. Tra treating the battery as an asset is going to be a, definitely a trend going forward because, you know, it's definitely could be one of the, the, the most increasing assets in the world. If you if you look at, you know, two million, two, three million cars last last year predicted to be maybe 16 million cars in 2026. And each of those 16 million cars is a $10,000 asset, which is the battery. Having secure, uh, trustworthy data across the full life cycle of the part is becoming a real trend and a real, you know, I think OEMs now are looking at that and going, okay, we're not just early prototypes anymore. We're now really producing a very highly valuable asset. You've, you've created a smart battery unit and you put several of those units in the car, uh, a unit capable of measuring itself even when there's no car and transporting that data without any human interaction to wireless infrastructure. Uh, that's, you know, very common in the asset tracking industry. Uh, it's kind of a revolution really in, in EV. Global supply chains depend on every aspect of the technology within them. These pieces must be properly aligned and functioning at the highest level in order to ensure smooth production. In our final episode, we turn our attention to the future, examining individual technologies and innovations like collaborative robotics and predictive maintenance that together paint a clear picture for the future of supply chain transformed.